Let's talk about Bill Gates some more, shall we? This motherfucker, he wants to buy up all your land, especially the farms. And the reason why he wants your farms is because instead of raising cows, he's going to be raising crickets. I hope you like fucking crickets. I hope you love eating crickets. Bill Gates was quietly becoming the biggest private owner of farmland in the United States. But as of February 2021, Gates has made headlines across the world for purchasing nearly 250,000 acres across Louisiana, Arkansas, Nebraska, I don't own this and video. Washington. It's free on YouTube. Why is Bill Gates buying up so much land? Because he's a piece of shit. You're going to change your diet. That's why. While researching for his magazine, The Land Report, author and journalist Eric O'Keefe noticed a massive land purchase in eastern Washington. A purchase of more than a thousand acres is what he calls a blue moon event because of its rarity and scale. This particular acquisition of 14,500 acres of expensive prime farmland in eastern Washington was obviously something worth investigating. The purchase is part of a broader 269,000 acre land portfolio belonging to Gates and associated entities across 19 U.S. states, with the largest holdings in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Arizona. O'Keefe tracked the purchase to a small Louisiana firm called Cascade Investment. He LLC. looked like a douchebag, didn't he? He looked like he was trying to fuck you. This obscure investment like he smelt something that stink. headed by Michael Larson it's his lip. is responsible for managing large sums of Bill Gates's portfolio. In, In other words, he's a piece of shit too. The Gateses hired the former Putnam Investments bond fund manager to diversify the couple's portfolio away from the 45% stake in Microsoft while maintaining comparable or better returns. According to a 2014 profile of Larson in the Wall Street Journal, these investments include a substantial stake in automation, hospitality interests such as the Charles Hotel in Cambridge, and the Four Seasons in San Francisco, and at least 100,000 acres of farmland in California, Illinois, Iowa, Louisiana, and other states. Michael Larson has also been accused of nefarious behavior. The I New York Times reported in May 2021 that Larson engaged in a pattern of workplace misconduct, according to former employees. Over the years, at least six people, including four Cascade employees, complained to Mr. Gates about Mr. Larson, according to former employees and others with direct knowledge of the complaints. Several of them also complained to his wife, Melinda French Gates. Cascade made payments to at least seven people who witnessed or knew about Mr. Larson's behavior. In exchange, they agreed to never speak about their time at the firm. When pressed during a book discussion on Reddit about why he's gobbling up so much farmland, Gates claimed it is not connected to climate change. The decision, he said, came from his investment group. Cascade Investment, the firm making these acquisitions, is controlled by Gates. The firm said it's very supportive of sustainable farming. It is also a shareholder in the plant-based protein companies Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods, <laughs> as well as the farming equipment manufacturer it's impossible John Deere. It ain't food. Its single largest acquisition of farmland came in 2017 when it paid $520 million to purchase 61 properties from the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, CPPIB. This parcel, which apparently makes up the bulk of Gates Farmland Holdings, had previously belonged to Agriculture Company of America a real estate investment trust acquired by CPIBB in 2013. 
In January of 2021, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation announced that it's creating a nonprofit entity called Gates Ag One, which will seek to speed up efforts to provide smallholder farms in developing countries, many of whom are women, with access to the affordable tools and innovations they need to sustainably improve crop productivity and adapt to the efforts of climate change. Other questions put to Gates during his Reddit AMA session similarly touched on the sustainability of the agri-food system. One asked about the viability of seawater desalination to solve global water shortages. We have lots of water. The problem is it is expensive to desalinate and move it to where it's needed, Gates wrote. The cost is prohibitive for agricultural use of water. New seeds can reduce water use, but some areas won't be able to farm as much. Gates was also asked which niche technology he believed could play a significant role in the battle against climate change. We need a lot of technologies. Synthetic meat, energy storage, new ways of making building materials, he wrote. We want to be open to ideas that seem wild. Arable land is not just profitable. With the continued pressure for sustainability, investment firms are making the argument farmland will meet carbon neutral targets for sustainable investment portfolios while anticipating an increase of agricultural productivity and revenue. The world's richest 1% emit double the carbon of the poorest 50%, a 2020 Oxfam study found. Moreover, according to Forbes, the world's billionaires saw their wealth swell by 1.9 trillion in 2020, while more than 22 million U.S. workers, mostly women, lost their jobs. Like wealth, Land ownership is becoming concentrated into fewer and fewer hands, resulting in a greater push for monocultures and more intensive industrial farming techniques to generate greater returns. 1% of the world's farms control 70% of the world's farmlands, one report found. <coughs> I mean, you get what he's saying. Are you buying up all your land? All the farmland, he's going to decide what you're going to eat. You know, instead of cows, he's going to be raising crickets. He's going to be putting whatever he wants to put, you know, like the seeds. He had said something about uh, seeds that use less water. That's because they genetically modify the seeds. You know, they made strawberries and they made uh, broccoli and they made lettuce. These are all things that came off of like one thing, like cabbage or some shit like that. And then they made a whole bunch of other shit with it. I mean, you can't trust these people. I don't trust them. You can trust them if you want to, but I don't fucking trust them.